Another day, another Kasha game. Like me, you have probably heard of this UC Engage game before. Like when your friend share a cutscene about a new Pro sister, or that time they had a collab with a wish for Mercury, a non UC property. But here's the thing I have never heard anyone, period, talk about the gameplay. And I didn't really care about the game in the first place, so I didn't look it up myself. Then yesterday, as I was browsing through the Google Play Store, I came across the game again and saw that it's going to be available in English soon, so I was like, eh, why not just download it, give it a try, and maybe I can make a video about it. My initial expectations were already low to begin with because of the, uh, the first is a Gacha game and the original version of the game is already two years old at this point. The gameplay is probably super outdated, and the IBO game that they released earlier this year are so very shitty. I don't think this one going to surprise me, but we'll see. Michael transaction, let's go! Uh uh. Okay. <laughs> Why he looks like that? <laughs> okay, let's go. Okay. Huh? What do you mean? Uh, oh. ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっ
Okay, sure. The uh, the elemental system, yeah. Every Kasha game have it, yeah. Auto battle, yeah, and auto and triple speed, yeah. Let's go. <laughs> so, uh, you basically cannot really control anything aside from the uh, camera angle and maybe click the uh, the extinguish. I guess if you click the auto, they'll just use it all for you. Anyway. <laughs> this is all the same game guy. Okay, okay, right now let's 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 kill this. Wait, that's, that's it? Oh, that's so much for the gameplay part. But who cares about the gameplay? Let's go for the gacha. Let's do this. Unicorn banner. Let's go. <laughs> nah, I'm not watching this again. There's no way. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. First 10 roll? Of course. Still prefer Banshee now though. First 10, huh? Hi. Okay, let's try the harder stage. Need the all the advantage classes against them. I remember from the tutorial. See, I'm smart. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what's even going on? What? <laughs> oh my god! Okay, I'll, 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 I'll do this. All the uh, disadvantage on the on the top and see it a little bit slower. Yeah, okay, it's a little, bit, a little bit slower. Yeah. You see, see, they, they, they got some advantage on their side, boy. They got to use skill too this time. <laughs> Never mind. It's, it's so incomprehensible. Why? What? What is? What even going on? What's even? Oh my god. Okay gamers, let's talk. Unless you're like super big Gundam fans, I cannot really recommend this to you. Like, just the battle system alone is, is really put me off. I know that the game that I play in the past, like uh, Princess Connect or Blue Archive, has really similar uh, uh, battle mechanic to this. You just wait for the timer, for the SP, and then just hit the, uh, the X skill to activate uh, the kit for the character. But this one is really incomprehensible, at least at least to me, especially at a higher speed. The 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 those scans that I mentioned before, you still can uh, play at the maximum speed and you can control the battle just fine. That barely feel like a gameplay to me is, is more or less like you raise the character to strong enough to just have the uh, CPU auto it for you, which is fine, which is fine. If like if just like those if you enjoy this those kind of the uh, AFK with base battle gacha game that you saw before maybe you will enjoy this one but for me it's a hard pass some of you might say that okay i'm going to stick with a uh, free to play i'm only here for the story and a cutscene because it's a lot of people also say that uh, the, the only good thing about this game is the cutscene but a lot of cutscenes are already widely available on youtube with subtitle even so if, if you're just here for the cutscene then you don't really have to play it to be honest I think at, at some point, even as a free-to-play, you have to uh, hit the wall. You cannot just use your starter unit all till, till the end game. This is limited what you can do with this kind of game. So you're going to need more character, more pilot if you uh, want your character to be like to be as strong as possible. You're going to expand your roster. So there's no... it's, it's going to be hard, but some people can save free-to-play. But knowing a lot of Gundam fans that have a lot of purchasing power, 
they probably uh, expect you to wail for the uh, upcoming characters. I have no problem with people uh, spending for the gacha game. I just want uh, to remind you that a lot of English uh, English version of the uh, game that released globally, like they shut down way before the Japanese server. Some some of the original Japanese server are still up, but but the uh, the international version is already down. Like the uh, the Sifokia game, the uh, the Madoka games, like that. You just you might as well just play the uh, original Japanese server just to, you know. Don't disappoint when the uh, the game is closed down like one year later or something. There's just too many risks that playing the internet server in general. Another thing that is that I probably disappointed when I saw the gameplay because when I know that we all clown on Genshin and uh, MiHoYo games, right? But you can't deny that they uh, influence a lot of games to like to push their limit, right? Like right now, you can see the more game have the uh, really really good uh, gameplay on the. Uh, on a mobile phone as they can cross play to PC or even PS4, PS5. And we, we, and we still don't have that kind of Gundam game. We still stuck with the uh, auto AFK game like this. I just hope that it's gonna be more. But at the end of this game, it's just not it. For the game that name you see engaged, I would say that the gameplay is not very engaging, like at all. So yeah, I cannot recommend you this game. And if you still want to play it, or you are uh, already a fan from the original Japanese server, I'm sorry, but yeah, I can, I cannot really recommend you to play this. With that being said, ah, <laughs> uh, ten out of ten. <laughs>